What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Southside TV, and I'm back with another video. Today, we will be talking about Paul Pierce made a intro on Undisputed today, and Skip Bayless and Paul Pierce annihilated, straight annihilated James Harden, and Paul Pierce told the straight up truth about James Harden and what he got going on with the Seventy Sisters. Now, before we get into this video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel, and make sure y'all hit that notification bell two times. All right, Paul, what do you think? I really don't even see a perfect fit for James Harden. I mean, I know all the rumors have been going toward yeah. the Clippers, but let's say he does go to the Clippers. You got Westbrook <laughs> over there, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Uh, is he willing to take a lesser role? Is he going to mm. come off the bench? Does he start? He hasn't been there for training camp. Westbrook understands the system. He played well for him at the end of last year. And so is he willing to drop his ego, play a role? Otherwise, I don't see it even even of being a good fit for the Los Angeles Clippers, let alone oh, yeah. any other team in the league. Okay. I, I like the fit. I like the fit with the Clippers. I just don't think. But they does can he come off up. the bench? Does he start? No, yeah. He starts. Russ goes to the bench, which you know Russ has shown a little bit more willingness. Russ is turning 35 in like two weeks. Yes. Yeah. He he understands where he is at this point in his career. He actually was very encouraging during training camp. Someone asked him, they're kind of goading him, or are you going to get back to your old self the way you were before you well, were at we're the gonna, Lakers? I'll, I'll show you that in just All right, a moment. Great. But the point is, I'm with Paul on this. Really? At some point, this league is going to say no to James Harden Absolutely. because he's, he's 34 going on 44. He does not stay in great shape. And look, the, the best way I can sum up his career is he is obviously supremely gifted, as great a perimeter scorer when he was right as we've ever seen. But he has loser intangibles where when you need him the most, you, you trust him the least because... He's flamed out in playoff after playoff after playoff. So what happened against your Celtics, Paul? Home game, year. game six. Hey, hey you, you got two you opportunities got to step you, you, up. You've got it. You, you score 45 in game one, then you come back with 42 in game four, and I'm saying, oh, there he is. I picked the Sixers to win it all last year. I think, okay, they got it now. No, they don't got it because yeah. in those two games, he completely and utterly disappeared, as we've seen repeatedly. So, to me, the prospect of James Harden reuniting with Russell Westbrook back from their Oklahoma City <laughs> days in the backcourt is double jeopardy because I'm going to remind everybody, if you go back to 2016-17, James Harden was first in the league in turnovers and Russ was second. 2018, Russ won, James two. 2019, James won, Russ two. And turnovers, this is, it goes year after year. Trey Young took them over, and they, they finished two and three in 2020. Then Russ led in 2021. James was second in 22. These are the two highest turnover makers that, that we've probably ever seen as a duo in the history of this league. And right. remember, Russ, over the last seven years, has shown you repeatedly he is the highest turnover plus worst three-point shooter we've ever seen in combination in the history of this league because he's always at the very bottom of three-point shooting and at the very top in turnovers. So how can you put those two together? If you think Ty Lue needed a sabbatical back in the day when LeBron was there, he, he would need a mid-season sabbatical because these two – would would hasten his retirement. Go, go ask go, Russ is Rachel. more humble, though. But now I'm saying, like, how do you put the ball in James Harden's hand and take it out of Kawhi and Paul George's hand? Yeah. How do you do that? They're not going to sit around and watch the James Harden show. No. He's going to have to come in and fill in a role. Now, we're not going to sit here and watch him ISO at the top, run, pick, and roll, and wait in the corner on the ball. This is Kawhi's team. This is Paul George's team. But he didn't do that last season in Philadelphia. He was able to play more of that team game. And I have faith in Ty Lue. I I mean, that's your guy. Don't you think that if anyone can manage those personalities, it's Ty? I don't know if anybody can manage James Harden's uh, attitude because the last three franchises we've seen him with, he's crippled these franchises. He I has. mean, look at what happened in Houston. They're rebuilding. Same thing in Brooklyn. And we're going to see a rebuild real soon in Philadelphia because if Embiid is not happy mm, in the next year or two, he's going to be out of there. And this is the James Harden effect that we're seeing everywhere he goes. Let them go to the Clippers, and the same thing is going to happen there in a couple years. Yeah. What's up? We back. Man, look. Salute to Paul Pierce, man, for um, making an entrance on um, Undisputed today. You know what I'm saying? I actually enjoyed the show. I liked it that Paul Pierce lit it up. That's what's up. And Paul Pierce told the truth about James Hardy. Just, just take a look at his resume. He's a good player, but 
He just quit a lot. Like, he quit on Houston. Quit on Brooklyn. Now he's trying to quit on 76ers and go to the Los Angeles Clippers. Like, dude, at some point, like Skip Bayless said, the NBA is going to tell you no at some point. Like, come on. You act like you got it all together. Paul Pierce is a ex-NBA player. Retired from the NBA. Played the game. Know the game well. Certified to speak on the game. Like, this man ain't told one lie. Like, what what, what you going to do? What you going to do when the NBA tell you no? You going to retire? Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't see I don't see the Westbrook. I don't see the James Harden clicking. I, I just don't. I don't. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got annihilated by Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless told the truth about you, too. Like, he had to agree with Paul Pierce. Everybody, everybody's going to agree with that take because it's true about James Harden. Look what he did. Look what he did to Dale Murray. He went down there to China to go put Dale Murray on spot, knowing that the China people don't like him. Messy. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Like it, it ain't looking good for James Harden. It really ain't, man. Like dude, dude even even like like even Westbrook done changed up his game. I don't see him out there getting mad no more. You know, Westbrook used to be hot-headed. I don't see none of that no more. So, salute to Jay, uh, salute to Russell Westbrook, man. For real. At least he trying to stay dedicated to a team. James Harden ain't trying to stay dedicated to no team. He ain't trying to stay dedicated to no team. You can't have your cake and eat on uh, You want to eat it too, bro. Eventually, the NBA is going to tell you no. And like Skip Bailey said, you don't stay in shape, bro. You want to be in the strip club eating chicken wings and hopping off of jets with little baby and all that stuff. Instead of being in that gym, working on your craft, trying to elevate yourself to stay in a healthy NBA career. No, you don't, you don't care about that. All you do is care about the money. That's what I'm starting to believe. Anyways, y'all get in the comment section, man, and tell me about this situation. Paul Pierce was right. Skip Bayless was right. They annihilated the dude, and they put him on blast, and Paul Pierce told Nothing but the truth and the whole truth. It's your boy Southside TV, and I'll catch you on the next video. You be with that rah rah, that talking shit is basic. You been talking down on me, I wonder who you hate with. I took all my blows, and I swear all it took was patience. I got the face